As you can see, I am the admin of my server. And yes, this is a server. I'm not the admin because I have a Power World dedicated server. I'm going to teach you how to create a Power World dedicated server in a very, very simple way so your friends could finally join you and you could stop struggling to create a server. Okay, let's get started with this guide. Now, the first step for creating a Steam Power World dedicated server is to open a Steam. Okay, I want you to go ahead and launch a Steam and I want you to head over to your library and click where it says all and make sure that you select tools. OK, make sure you select tools. And once you have tools selected, I want you to click on the search bar in here and type Power World. And as you can see, we'll have the Power World dedicated server in here. Go ahead and click on that and click on install. In here, you could set up where you want the server to install. I'm going to leave it on the local drive because it doesn't really matter for me. And I'm going to click install. And while the server is installing, guys, on Steam, I want you to know that if you use the second link in the description, you will find a written guide, a very, very in-depth written guide with everything that you have to do to set up your server, to port forward your server, to have your friends join you, make your server online, everything you will need. Okay? And why is this the second link and not the first link? Because the first link is going to be a link for Apex hosting in case you don't want to go through this whole process. If you are struggling too much to create a server, you could always use Apex hosting and they will set up the server for you. They have multiple options. If you want to create a server that goes instantly online and have your friends join you without compromising your IP address, because if you didn't know, you're going to have to port forward your IP address if you want to make a dedicated server. However, if you use Apex hosting with the first link in the description, you get 25% off and you won't compromise your IP address, your computer. The server will be open all the time, which is good, right? Not only when your computer is on, you're going to have a server that is open the whole time. And now let's get back into the tutorial. Now we see that the Power World dedicated server has installed. And once it has installed, you have to click on launch. Okay. I've seen many people that don't say this step and it's crucial that you click on launch because if you don't click on launch, there won't be a save folder that we're going to need later on. Okay. So you click on launch. I'm going to leave it as a dedicated server. I don't want it as a community server because I don't want random people joining my server. So I'm going to put it on the first option and I'm going to click on play. Then a command prompt will open within a couple of seconds. Let's just wait a couple of seconds in here. Once the command prompt open, go ahead and close it. And now wait for this to stop running. It should have stopped. There we go. And what you're going to do next, you're going to head over to the tools section in here and you're going to find the Power World dedicated server. You're going to right click on it. You're going to click manage and you're going to click browse local files. That is going to open a folder with all these files in here, right? Don't be scared by all these files. You're looking for the default Paul World settings.ini. Okay, this file right here. And what you're gonna do is right click it and click edit in notepad. Okay, if you don't have Windows 11, then you're gonna have to click open with and then click notepad. Go ahead and open it. And then in here, you're going to look for the fourth line. And if it's not the fourth line, then look for wherever it says a script pal and all of this that it says in here. And you're going to select everything below that line, including that line of text, right? So just select everything and then control C to copy it or right click and copy it. Then you will close this text file in here in this folder. You're not done yet. You're going to click on pal. You're going to click on save. And this is the folder that I was saying that wasn't going to appear unless we launch the Power World dedicated server earlier. Okay. So now click on save, click where it says config right here on the top and then click on Windows Server. Right here on Windows Server, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find Power World Settings right here. Power World Settings that I and I right click and same thing, edit in notepad. Now, this will be empty for you. I already had a server created or when I was writing that guide for you guys that of course you'll find in the description. But for you, it will be empty like this. All you have to do is paste that text that we just copied from the document earlier. Just control V paste that text. As you can see, we have all the text in here. Now, this text is not just a random text. This text has all the information for your server. Like, for example, if we look close in here, we have the server name, which right now is default Power World server, right? Server description, admin password and a couple other things, right? It even has a server password in case you want to add a password to the server for when your friends join, they have to use a password, right? I named the server. It's Cuba, right? The name of the channel, the server description. You could add anything you want. And in the admin password, this is very important. If you want to become an admin of your server, I have seen people saying that in order for you to be a, an admin of your server, you have to launch the server using the Steam CND, which is not true. If you want to be an admin, all you have to do is set up an admin password. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, right? It doesn't really matter. And then also something that we need to remember here is our public port, which in this case is eight to 11, right? 8,211. Most cases by default, that will be the port. However, I do want you to pay attention whenever you make your server and find your public port and write it down somewhere, right? Like I said, most of the times by default, it will be 80 to 11. However, just check for it because this will be important later on. However, you could always come back to this document and change anything you need. Anyways, once we gave the server a name and maybe we added an admin password in order for us to become admins later on, you go ahead and click file, click save and close this text document. Okay. Now what you're going to do is head back to Steam. 
you could close that folder already, head back to Steam, and now just launch that server. I want you to go ahead and click on launch. And now, while the server is open, we can minimize it, and we're going to look for our local IP address. Our local IP address is going to allow us, okay, not your friends, us to join our server. In order to find your local IP address, go ahead and open your command prompt by pressing Windows plus R at the same time. And that is going to open this little thing called run. And in here, we're going to type CMD, right? CMD for command prompt. And then we're going to click OK. That is going to open this command prompt in here where we're going to type IP config, just like so. IP config. Again, you can find every single step in our written guide in the second link in the description. And then once you have IP config, go ahead and press enter. When you press enter, you are now looking for something called the IP before address. This line right here, the IP before address. OK, and I want you to copy those last numbers, only the numbers. Just go ahead and select all of that and control C to copy it. And now you can close the command prompt. Once you close the command prompt and you still have your server running, go ahead and launch your Power World game. Click on play on it, just on Steam, and then wait for the game to open. Now, when your game opens, and let me lower the volume a little bit so I could talk over the game, right? When your game opens, go ahead and head over to join multiplayer game, okay? Just find join multiplayer game, not the invite code, and this option will only be available if you have the whole game, which if you're using this in Steam, obviously you have the whole game, right? Because you're watching a Steam guide, go ahead and click on it. And then you're going to look down here where it says connect, and you're going to select the first numbers right before the five last characters, right before the 80 to 11 and the two little dots, you're going to select that whole IP address in there and you're going to paste yours, right? Your local IP address, which in my case is 192.168.1.9. But for you, it could be something completely different. Your IP address might be different than mine. That's totally fine. And then you could hit connect. However, if you added a password for your server, you could always click enter password right before you launch it. But we didn't enter a password, so we're just going to hit connect and just wait until we connect to our local server. Now, once you're in the server, if you want to be an admin of your own server, all you have to do is press enter, then type the slash command and then type admin password, just like that, press a space, and then type in that password that we added earlier when we were setting up the server and then press enter. And as you can see, admin password is correct. You are now an admin. That's what I was saying that you guys don't need to use the Steam CMD to become an admin of your server. I seen a lot of people saying that you need to download the Steam CMD, which we're going to do a video on that. However, we're going to do a video on how to download and make a dedicated server using the Steam CMD for those of you that have Xbox, right? Anyways, right now we're an admin. We know the server is running. How do your friends join, right? Because we don't want to be the only ones in the server. Well, let me go ahead and first save the server. So all you have to do is type a slash and then type save and the server has saved. And now let's go ahead and close that game and we're going to stop running the server right now. How do we have our friends join? Well, in order to have your friends join, you're going to have to pour forward your IP address. You're going to have to pour forward your server. How do you do that? Well, remember earlier that we open our command prompt, go ahead and open it again by pressing Windows plus R typing in CMD and then pressing OK and then type IP config again. And then this time, instead of copying the IPv4 address, I want you to copy the default getaway, which might be really similar to your IPv4 address, but the last number might change. OK, copy this number in here and then go ahead and close your command prompt. Head over to any browser, OK, and then type that number that we just copied and hit enter. Now, this is going to bring up your basic router info and it will have you log in using the admin name and the admin password. You could try something like admin admin for both, or you could go to the back of your router and look for the information that you need to input in this page. However, in my case, it's having me use the Spectrum app because my router cannot be configured through the online page. So I'm gonna have to do it through my phone. However, I knew that was going to happen. So I made this in here. I made this photo for you guys in order to follow along because many of you won't have to use your phone. As a matter of fact, most of you will have to do this through your router page. All you're doing in your router page is looking for an option called port forward. Maybe it's under the security tab. Maybe it's under the network. Quick setup, just check every single option. I know it could be a little bit frustrating, okay? And then find the port forwarding option, which might not necessarily be named port forward. It could be something like port, it could be like rules, it could be under a lot of different names. Just find a screen that looks something similar to this, where it lets you add a service port, an IP address, and a protocol. Once you find this screen, you wanna type the port number. That's why it was very important that you paid attention to that port number at the beginning which for most cases is going to be 80 to 11. However, if you had a different number, you want to add that number in here, okay? For the service port, for the external and the internal port, it might be named differently. Just wherever it says port, you're gonna add that number, okay? For the IP address, you want to add 
your IPv4 address, that address that we copied earlier to join our server. It's not the default gateway address, it's our local IPv4 address, okay? Go ahead and paste that in there. And then for the protocol, you're going to add the TCP and the UDP protocol. Now, sometimes it will let you add both of them at the same time, right? You have an option called all or both or TCP UDP, like in this photo, sometimes you will have to do it one by one. So what you would do is create a rule, right? So you will hit save for TCP, create that rule, and then do everything all over again. And this time do it for UDP and then hit save again to create the rule for TCP and UDP. Once you have done that, once you port forwarded your IP address, you could go ahead and have your friends join using your public IP address. And how do you find your public IP address? Well, head over to our guide in the second link in the description, Let's scroll down until you find the index in here. Open that index app and click on the step number three on how to port forward IP address. That is going to scroll you all the way down. Let's scroll a little bit more down and then go ahead and click where it says, what's my IP? That is going to redirect you to this page where your IP address is going to show right here in this line. Obviously I'm blurring mine out because well, if you give out your IP address to people, they could find out where you live and stuff like that. So I'm blurring my IP address. However, yours will be there. Just copy that IPv4 address. This is your public address. Copy that address. And then for your friends to join, all they have to do is go to join multiplayer game. And down here where we were putting our local IP address earlier to join, they're going to put your public IP address that you're going to send them once you know what's your public IP address. You send them that address. So down here is your IP address, right? Obviously, it's going to be a string of numbers. I'm just typing that so you guys know. And then they're going to add the little two dots and add the port of your server, which by default, it might be 8211. However, however, in your case, might be a different number. And then your friends are going to hit connect and they're going to finally be able to join your Power World server. Now, obviously, your server needs to be open every time your friends want to join. And if you don't want to have to be opening your server every time and you just want to create something that your friends could join even when you're offline, Use that first link in the description to create a server with Apex host. Anyways, that has been everything from me, guys. Let me know if you had any issues. Let me know down in the comments. And if I'm not there, somebody might be able to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye-bye.